Okay. All right, so I figured all that out. <clears throat> and I think basically, God, I hope this is right, <clears throat> that if I'm sort of doing this, you guys can see me. So what inspired me to the whole video was um, I found these. Uh, there's two of them. The first one is called Charlie and the Bully Francis, and that's by Michael Chosa, circa, circa 9 to 10 years old. There's a reason why this caught my attention and made me think about all of this. Uh, hopefully you can see the illustration. So let's start story time. Charlie and the Bully Francis. Dedicated to my family and friends. Illustration. Once upon a time, there was a kid named Charlie. In first grade, Francis was the biggest bully. Well, everybody got tired of getting bullied, so they all got together and made a plan to beat Francis up with water balloons. Period. So everything was set. All they needed was someone to throw the water balloons. Charlie said, I will. Therefore, it was all set and they waited until Francis showed up. Then they yelled, fire! Then Charlie threw the water balloons. Bang, pow, splash. Francis was hit and everybody cheered. His sister, here it is, my inspiration. His sister, Samantha, asked, what's wrong? Charlie said, I just can't stop thinking about the look on her face. Jessica asked him, why? Charlie said, because of the look on her face. New illustration. Well, the next day they went to school and Francis went up to Charlie and said, meet me on the playground at 2.15. That day, Charlie was getting wrong answers in class. He even got an E minus on a spelling test. I was caught daydreaming. Charlie was having a bad day. By lunchtime, Charlie was usually talking and playing, but today he just couldn't get his mind off what Francis has said. At recess, he made no goals in soccer. He didn't catch the football at all. And when he played baseball, he hit someone six times. I don't know if that meant with a bat or just accidentally with the ball. I don't know. In math, he got an E minus on a surprise quiz. He answered everything wrong and he was running into walls. He couldn't concentrate and got into trouble for not answering the teacher. New illustration. In history class, he couldn't pay attention to the teacher. Francis frightened him. She was older than him, stronger, and faster. But she didn't have many friends. She was also smarter. He was just no match for her. So he just watched the clock. In biology class, Charlie watched the clock. He was getting more scared by the second. He forgot his homework and his agenda at home. He got in trouble for not having his homework. He also named the human body parts wrong. Charlie discovered I'm sorry, Charlie dissected a frog and Charlie cut himself. When he went to the nurse, she said, how did you do this? Charlie replied, I was dissecting a frog. After leaving the nurse, he got back to class and saw it was 1.15. Charlie said to himself, only 60 minutes left. He was really scared and really mad at throwing the water balloons. New illustration. At 2.15, Charlie went outside. Charlie met with Francis at the playground. Then he asked, why did you ask me to come here? I wanted to say to you that I am sorry for throwing water balloons at you. Francis said, why did you throw the water balloons? Because you were bullying everyone, said Charlie. 
Francis and Charlie started to talk about their behavior for a while, because it's what most nine-year-olds do. Then they reached a resolution. Charlie would not, I'm sorry, Francis would not bully anybody, and Charlie wouldn't be mean to her. The next day at school, they played at recess, and they were friends forever after. A little bit about the author. Michael Trussell, he hopes you enjoy his book. He thought his book was hard to think of. Even though it was fun to write, it took a lot of time. In his spare time, Michael plays football for PlayStation 2. His favorite food is pizza. He also likes to play outside. This is what he likes to do. The end. So I thought that was amazing. Samantha D, he mentioned you in his first paragraph when he was nine years old. Let's go to the next book for story time. Christopher's book of poetry. That's Christopher. Same age, nine years old. Uh, he was in Miss Taylor in the shoots class. Michael was in Miss Galford and Miss Jimmy's class. He loved Miss Jimmy. Christopher's Book of Poetry by Christopher Trussell. Dedicated to my family. I'm assuming that's his family. I just don't know what's wrong with all our hair. Acrostic. Cares a lot about family. He likes dogs. Rides his bike. I am responsible. Shares with others. That's the illustration of his dog. And sunshine. Haiku. Summer's exciting. Pretty flowers are growing. Deer are out running. The most antlers I've ever seen on a deer in my entire effing life. Oh, also I just caught, because I was looking at the back, like how many damn fingers does that dude have? The alphabet poem. A cat is the, period. Best pet, period. Cows are crazy, period. Dogs are exciting period. I want an eagle because they can fly. I think that's a shadow dog. Sing Quan, Sing Queen. I don't know, Chris, you wrote the poem. How do you pronounce it? Snakes. Long, smooth, slithering, hunting, hissing. They're very dangerous. Anaconda. I would like to note in all the pictures, there is a sun. And this snake does not look dangerous. Personal poem. Okay, bef bef before I read it, let's uh, go ahead and look at um, sun, black sky, spider. Christopher, nice, funny, kind, sibling of Michael, lover of math, science, lions. Who feels happy, joyful, who needs food? <laughs> Back then he, t he did eat a lot of food. Water, shelter, friends, who gives love, gifts, who fears strangers, black widows, who would like to see New York, a football game, Trussell. A holiday poem and its illustration. Christmas, icicles hanging from houses, cookies baking in houses, people singing Christmas carols, sweet candy cane, cold snowballs, Christmas. 
I would like to say that Chris, this is actually an excellent Christmas drawing. However, um, when we were doing stockings, you acted like you didn't know how to decorate. Clearly, you do. Callie, mental note. Make him do it himself. Okay, this is great. About the author. Hi, my name is Christopher Trussell. I have one brother and his name is Michael. I like to play games with my family. I go to Greenbrier Intermediate. I am in the third grade. My favorite subject is math. <laughs> yeah, okay. Also, again, Sunshine and Christopher with his brother. I guess that's the end. Uh, yeah, that's the end. Okay, so. I love you guys. Was that really close? I love you guys. I miss you guys a ton. Uh, the boxes will be cleaned up by next weekend. So, figure out when y'all can come visit and come visit.